everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of Nerd United on YouTube. My name is Greg Mahochko. I can't remember which direction he goes, but the other face you see on the video, he is the co-host of the year, Mike Luther. Mike, how are you, buddy? I am excellent. I'm all moved into my new place. You can see the cool wallpaper behind me, uh, straight from 1970. Uh... Getting no one's bed in tomorrow. I got a washer right in front of me. Don't have a dryer yet, but I got a washer right in front of me. Is it hooked up or is it just sitting there? It's, yeah, it's, I, I mean, if I could flip my uh, uh, laptop around, my non work laptop, uh, I would show you, but yeah, that's good. Everything's but good. Laptops are known for their uh, in, in, immobility. Yes. You can't can't laptop at all. I, I put my laptop down, it stays. That's it. <laughs> Uh, so how are, how are you liking things? How are you getting settled, man? It's good. You know, as I said, no one comes tomorrow. So that's when we'll start figuring everything out and Sweet. go from there. Sweet. You excited? You gotta be excited. Yeah, I'm excited. He's excited. Nobody rocks tea at 7.48 at night on a Friday if they're not excited. That's true. That is okay. true. Is that, is that tea? No, this is actually this stuff that I got at Ruler Foods. It's a vitamin strawberry watermelon. It's going to be backwards. I don't know if you see it or not, but you, you just add a little into water. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so the, the transition is going well, and the commute is fun for you, I know, I'm sure. All commutes are always fun, aren't they? Luckily, luckily I haven't had a commute yet. Oh, even better. I'm still working from home. I have had to go to Bevel twice, I think, but um, that's it. So. I saw also you were very excited because your gym is opening up again. My gym is opening up June – it said June 27th originally, then they changed it to June 29th. Um, they're doing limited hours. So, like I said, the, the one that I, I could go to one right now – in Collinsville, it's closer, it's 10 minutes away. Um, but I wanted to wait until my gym opened, because once my gym opens, they're gonna unfreeze my account, and I'm gonna have to, I'm be paying for it, so I should go, obviously, and I like going. I just have to figure out with Nolan here, cause I don't really, I don't wanna, I'm, he's fine, he's old enough to be stare by himself, but I just, I don't wanna be like, cause he likes working out too. Yeah. And I don't wanna leave like, hey, I'm gonna go work out, you stay here, so. So when you say unfreeze your account, it's not like mm -hmm. the assets that ha assets have been frozen, but because they were closed, I'm sure they probably were, you know, not charging anybody, you know, yes. the monthly subscription or, or not a membership. Fee. That's what it is. Yeah, absolutely. That's cool. what it is. So this past Wednesday, new comic book day, by the way, I've been off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it's been a blast. Uh, old job, new job starts this Monday. So, yes. um, Wednesday, I spent uh, the day going to a couple doctor's appointments, but in between, yeah, in between the doctor's appointment, I went over to Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois, Swansea, Illinois. and I bought a few things. Okay. Bought a few yeah. things. It's, it's so exciting. We're going to have a show and tell. So one of the things I bought, I've been uh, reading, it is a, a, an ongoing, I think it's a, a four book series. Uh, from the DC Black label, and it's by Jeff Lemire. Who uh, are you hearing things in the background? Yeah, I, I, I hear them in the background. Yeah, or I hear him. Yeah, I, I I see you laughing. I'm like, I'm not saying anything funny. So you guys are <laughs> to the kid probably doing flips in the other. Um, anyway, uh, it's uh, from a writer that I've really come to appreciate. It is the question. This is book three of four. It's the death of Vic Sage. I've read the first two. It's uh, I'm, I'm obviously I'm enjoying it because I I'm both enjoying it and, and I'm a completionist, so I'm going to see it through. So uh, that's one thing that I picked up. The another thing that I picked up, and this is from Marvel. It is the title of one of their upcoming MCU projects. Oh, okay, okay. So what I did, is, um, it's got two of the bigger names in comics as writer and uh, artist. Neil Gaiman uh, wrote it, and it is John Romita Jr. doing the art. And I said, because I've never 
I've heard of the Eternals, but I've never read anything. So I asked him over at Twilight Comics, Swansea, Illinois. I said, will this book get me geared up, get me prepared for the movie? He said, yeah, it, it should, because I'm pretty sure that's the one that they're using for the basis of the movie. So I said, all right. Um, and the other acquisition, it's going to be fun for one of our viewers, because it's going to be a little giveaway. Mike, okay. have you seen a little movie? It, it, try. Let me get there. I, I think you have, uh, but I want to verify. It's called Avengers Endgame. Yes, I've seen it once or twice or 20 times. <laughs> um, by the way, I, I've started, we're about to be interrupted. It's all right. So perhaps you've seen a movie uh, by the name of Avengers Endgame. Yes, I've seen it once, twice, three times a week. Nice. Well done. Um, Commodores. <laughs> but uh, there are four lines, not four lines, four words, one line of dialogue that spells the doom of the Mad Titan Thanos. Do you remember what th those words are? I am Iron Man. I want to show you. Have you. Iron Man with you? I do. I do. Um, not 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 the man, just the iron part. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, but I mean, I don't have Tony Stark. I just have the suit. No. no. And not and not even really the suit. You just have a bunch of iron. And you got stacks of metal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I have here. Ooh. A pop. Now this is a bobblehead. And it also glows in the dark. And we're going to give that away. Those are pretty um, uh, popular to a lot of people. Oh, they're called Pops. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay. I, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. I'm not entirely sure how this Zoom full screen thing works. I don't know. If, I, I don't know how it's going to shake out. On, on the YouTube video. So this is, everybody, this is just a trial and error. So hopefully when I talk, you see a big picture of me. When Mike talks, you see a big picture of Mike. I don't know. Regardless, I'm going to give away this Funko Pop bobblehead that glows in the dark of Iron Man with the, the stones. And uh, we should, I think last week we were soliciting subscribers and topics. And to my knowledge, we didn't get any of it either. <laughs> So if you are not a bot, if you are a real person and you uh, throw a, a comment in about a topic that we can discuss on an upcoming episode of either the YouTube show or the podcast, uh, we'd sure like to know about it. We'll enter you into a drawing, one of those uh, random number generators. And then if you win, we'll reach out to you and you know find out how we can get this I am Iron Man Funko Pop bobblehead to you. And here's the good thing. Not a lot of people comment. So you have, if you just comment, you have a very high chance of winning. True. It's, to quote Metallica, it's sad but true. Um, so that was really big news I had for this week's YouTube uh, episode. Mike, do you have anything else you want to discuss? Or do you want to? Well, uh, I, one, I can't believe you have not mentioned my hair and how it's much shorter now. I honestly just thought you ran a comb through it for the first time in six weeks. No, it looked even worse. No, I just got it cut today. It was really weird because I had to get to wear a mask mm -hmm. while they're cutting it. And the lady, she's like talking about beer. She's like, you know, she we used to, we can normally do beard trims, but obviously with a mask we can't, you know. And but she did trim it a little bit because she's like, just move this part of the mask. I'm like, okay, I should trim, you know. I'm keeping, I'm keeping the big beard. It would have been even better if you were wearing the mask and they just cut everything they couldn't get to. <laughs> <laughs> or, or they just like took the clippers, you know, I put a guard on it, I just put it underneath. And just, I know, like, I think we got it pretty good. Start calling you patchy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, you look uh, dapper. And that, that's right. That's probably, this is where we're going to start getting all of our subscribers now because they've just been waiting for Mike to get a haircut. Well, all I know my mom was waiting. <laughs> all the comments and all the subscriptions are going to come now. Who would have thought that our internet success, our YouTube success, would have been tied directly to your uh, hair and facial hair? 
that'd be awesome. Also, we started blowing up. We were like, finally. I didn't want to subscribe because of the stupid hair, but now they've got it cut. Would, if, if we got to 500 subscribers, would you shave your beard? Oh, no. Wait, how many? 500. No, no 500? No. 5,000? It may, it may be at 5,000. I, I, would, I would shave it, and it, it would grow back. It would be a one-time shave. You know, but yeah, five thousand. I'd consider it. I mean, years ago, it was two thousand seven. Uh, I was in terrestrial radio, and we were not we like the radio station, but the community. There's an American Red Cross blood drive, and I made the the comment on air. I said, if we get, if we can get one hundred and twenty five or whatever, you know, if we can meet the goal for the number of you know uh, pints of blood and whatnot donated, I will shave off an eyebrow. So, live on the air the next day. <laughs> you just did one, one eyebrow. If I, uh, I think you know what. Now that you mentioned that, I can't remember if I did an entire one or if I did half of one. <laughs> so, and either way, I'm still kind of, you know, I'm trying to figure out what would be worse if it would just do one eyebrow, both eyebrows, or just half. <laughs> I don't know. I also, I also, uh, I didn't lose a bet, but I was. I'm trying to figure out the best way to phrase this. It was encouraged of me uh, to. Uh, I, I had a um, a ring, like a circle, as, as rings typically are, uh, of uh, uh, hair on my leg removed via wax. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, it was very, how bad did it hurt though? I don't remember. I, mean, I think it's first of all, I can't say for sure that alcohol wasn't involved at that point. <laughs> and second, oh, um, you know, I think it, I think any guy puts on a brave face and says, "No, that didn't hurt at all." <laughs> so that's what why we're talking. Talk- Go ahead. What are we talking about on the podcast tonight? We've got some topics. Okay, that's all I can tell you without looking them up. Um, we're going to talk about uh, DC putting a deal together with Spotify for okay. something that Marvel and Stitcher have already been doing for a few years, okay. based on my guess, which is uh, uh, kind of uh, the old time. I mean, it's the uh, narrative podcast, the serial narrative podcast, much like the uh, Wolverine and Marvels that Marvel and uh, Stitcher did. But uh, DC this week inked a deal with Spotify to do something similar. So we'll talk about that and more. You know what I think we should do right now? I give give you gotta give the people a little preview of the podcast. I say open up a page. You're not gonna discuss it. You're just gonna show it. Open up a page of the book. Which one? Oh no. You know, you know which book, Greg? My son ran off with the book yesterday. <laughs> and he said, he's like, no, it's my comic book. <laughs> I said, well, no. <laughs> It'll, it, trust me, give it time. It'll be yours eventually. <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't think we've ever done this one. Okay. Can we see it? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out if I give you, like, the name over the article or the picture. 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 Okay. There. Yeah, because it's, it's a visual medium we have right now. If they could read the name, I don't know how well you'd be able to. All right, you know, shut up, Greg. Oh, okay, okay. All right. That is definitely weird. I've done it. If you want to find out what it's about, you got to tune into the podcast. Indeed. Actually, I I almost closed the book. Not to say I wouldn't be able to find that one again, but I don't trust my luck. So, yeah, put that down. Um, Mike, are are you drinking anything else tonight? Probably not. Maybe, Maybe after this. I don't know. I think I'm going to take uh, this commercial time out, which is funny because we don't have commercials, run to the fridge, get myself a beverage, okay. and I'll meet you on the audio side. All right. And hopefully, folks, we meet you on the audio side as well at jitterymonkey.com. He is Mike Luther. I am Greg Mahochko. This is Nerds United on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you in a few minutes on the audio side at jitterymonkey.com. Be kind. And rewind. <laughs>